In my experience, I have seen somebody respond really well to finasteride and not to dudasteride. Also, the risks of dudasteride are a little bit higher. The half-life in dudasteride is actually about 30 times higher than finasteride. So if you have a side effect, it is going to stay in your system substantially longer than finasteride. Also, dudasteride is not FDA approved in the United States for the treatment of hair loss. Okay, first of all, dudasteride with a T, not a D. Second of all, yes. highly unlikely that he's seen too many patients who have responded better to finasteride than dutasteride. Nearly all clinical evidence showing hair counts would suggest that dutasteride is much more effective when it comes to regrowing hair. This is Nathan, Antigen Chief Scientific Officer. He is my quant. Yeah, well, the other thing is that, uh, you know, obviously half-life matters. However, uh, both finasteride and dutasteride are irreversible antagonists. So what's even more important is how quickly your body is going to regenerate those enzymes once they've all been essentially denatured to the point where they don't work anymore. So less important so than that.